This video is about a month old. It got requested a lot when it happened, but I didn't get the chance to do it because I'm busy. But this is the stuff I really, really, really enjoy. This is the inside baseball experience that you can enjoy. You can see it for yourself if you go to a game because you don't have to rely on what the broadcast shows you. You can see it all happening with your own eyes from your seat after you use code JOMBOY at SeatGeek to get $20 off. So you get $20 off and you get to see it all. So Yaz gets on base. Base, rocks a double. He's on second, which means the pitcher and the catcher now have to go to a sequence of signs. If you're wondering what does that mean, well, instead of just putting one for fastball, two for curveball, three for slider, the catcher is going to do it in a code, and they know the code, and no one else is supposed to know the code. So this one, as we watch, he's going to go two, one, three. Now three is what he ends up throwing. Three is a slider. So what could the code possibly be to get there? Could be a lot of things. The most common one would be two, one, three. So it's the third finger he puts down. Most common one you can get is you could say that they are doing, it's the outs plus one. So there's two outs plus one means the third sign. You go, okay, one out, two outs. That's the pitch we're going to throw. Or it could be chase the one, which means, Whatever number I put after one, that's the one you're going to throw. Who knows what code they're using, but that's what's going on, and the runner on second is trying to decipher this. So he's going to throw the slider there. It was the third in the sequence. It's in the dirt. Flo doesn't swing at it at all. Now they're going to – we didn't get to see the fingers here, but he's going to go slider again in the zone for a strike, and Flo is like, okay, all right, wish I would have swung. Now – we see another sequence and see that's a that's four for change up, one for fastball, four for change up again, three for slider, and the pitcher doesn't react. He shakes his head, he doesn't like it. He says, hey, you know what? Let's step off. Let's redo this. A little bit of confusion. Because they might be forgetting what is the code right now. So first now the catcher is gonna go two, two, one, one. And he's going to shake his head and say, no, I don't want to throw that. And he said, okay, one, one, three. He says, shake his head again. I don't want to throw that. And I'm like, all right, let's step off again. Let's figure this out. We're taking too long. Let's go again. And now he's going to put nothing down, right? This is the weirdest one. He kind of puts nothing down, just some knuckles right there. And the pitcher shakes yes. And uh, he's ready to throw, but the catcher starts putting another sequence down, thinking he shook no or something. So the catcher's like, hold up, hold up, Blue. We are way off. Let's take out our little cheat sheets and figure it out. And the catcher, you can see, takes out his cheat sheet, and he looks at him, and the catcher here is going to flash four. Like, let's use code four. Who knows what that is? They do. So he looks at his sheet. He says, okay, what's four? Chase the two. Outs plus one. What is four? He says, okay, we're doing four. He says, yes. Let's do code number four. Now, they're really worried about Yaz picking up this stuff at second base because he can do that or he can just fake it. So let's see what they do now. They're on code four and they're going to go one, two, three, one. And he says, mm, yeah, let's do that. I believe this is a curveball. So I don't know where two was in that sequence. Yeah, it's a curveball. So let's see what could that have sequence have been. Let's try and figure it out. Where's the, it was one, two. So we could be chasing the one again. Um, He doubles up, then three, then one. Yeah, so it either, you know, the second sign or chasing the one because right after the one came the two. Or it can be way more complicated than that. But he gets the curveball and Flores doesn't even like really think about it. And now he looks back at the runner and he kind of shakes his head at him. And now he gets the card out again. He says, let's change this up again. I think he knows what we're doing. I, and, and he admitted in his post game that he thought they had the sign. So now they change it to five. What could the five code be? Who knows? They do. It's on their cheat sheet. And he's going to check it real quick. He's like, what's five? I just chose it. I got to make sure I know it. Okay. We're doing five. So you can barely see the fingers. You see the one there. You see the three. But we might have missed some at the beginning. And you can see him shake his head there. And now Yaz is kind of messing with him. He's starting to start dancing off second. You see all those wiggles he's doing at the bottom of the screen? He could be like, you know, he could be giving the signals to the batter now by taking shuffling to his right, shuffling to his left, moving his hand this way, his head that way. Who knows? So he starts just doing a bunch of stuff. And the pitcher thinks he has to shut the fuck up. Like, what? Me? 
What? Shut the fuck up. Just fucking throw a pitch. Jeez. Worry about him. Gee, I don't got nothing. I'm not doing anything, tells the second baseman. In his postgame, Yaz, he admits that he was acting like he knew the sign. He's like, I didn't know it. They were changing it every three pitches. I didn't know what he was throwing. Fastball right down the middle. Pitch catcher loves it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now they go two, two, three, one. Combio, combio. I have no idea what they're throwing here. I still think they're on the fifth sequence. So let's see if we can figure that out. So wait, that's a slider. Let's see. Let's do we see the signs after they talk? We just see the tail end of them. Okay. Yeah, we don't see it at all. So we don't see what this one was when he called the fastball that was right down the middle. Now you see the swing and foul back here, and the catcher says, Oh, yeah, I like that one. But now we see two, two, three, and he ends up throwing three. So it could be outs plus one again, chase the two. And he does three again a bunch. So who knows what the what it is there. But I, I believe this ends up being a slider. And you can see him even tap the dirt and say get it low. He gets it low. It's a nice block by the catcher. Yaz is now clapping. Getting more in his head. We got a full count. What's the sequence here? We go three, one, two. And that's all. And this is a fastball. So it was a second sign this time. So... Who knows what it was, but this is the game within the game and Yaz was playing it and he didn't know the signs, but he was acting like he knew the signs at second and you could see how much it was messing up the pitcher. Oh, a nice little high five. I put that in slow-mo for a reason because I liked it. Gentlemanly, high five. So that's the game within the game. And I'm telling you, when you go to a baseball game, you can sit in the stands and you can watch it and you can see nothing happened or you can sit in the stands and you can see everything happened. You can see the left fielder shift a little bit. The third baseman run to second on a one, two count, because now they think he's going to pitch a little different. You can see so much happen. You can see the dugout yelling to these people or playing games or throwing seeds at a storm drain in the field. And whoever hits it, they celebrate. You just got to go to SeatGeek, use code John boy, buy a ticket and you can see a ton of fun shit.